San Diego Planning Commission is considering whether or not to support Mayor Todd Gloria's latest housing action plan. Our Brian White has more for us from today's action. That's right, the mayor's new plan would incorporate the implementation of Senate Bill 10, which we've seen in recent months with protests. There are plenty of critics, but on the other hand, there are many supporters. The debate over SB 10 heated up today at the Planning Commission as they decided whether or not to endorse the mayor's new housing plan. High density randomly dropped into neighborhoods, totally out of scale with the neighborhoods they'll be dropped into. About 70 people filled council chambers to give public comment and another 30 or so called in over the phone. And while the overwhelming majority spoke out against SB 10, there were some who voiced support for it. I support and applaud the efforts by this commission and the mayor's office to bring forth much needed housing and deliver the state's first implementation of SB 10. Opting into the state law would allow up to 10 units to be built on a single lot within a sustainable development area. Parcels would qualify if they're within a half mile of a transit stop or on an urban infill site. What's an urban area? If you have neighbors on either side of you and a street in front of you, you're in an urban area and you qualify for this. The biggest criticism of SB 10 by far was the fact that once you opt in, it's irreversible. Once a parcel is designated as eligible for Senate Bill 10, it can never be zoned for less density. So never. On the other hand, I spoke with Molly Kirkland. She's with the Southern California Rental Housing Association, and she's in favor of what the mayor's plan is trying to do. It's not always ideal um, taking on some additional density, but we are in a housing crisis, and certainly I think it goes without saying that we just need more homes of all kinds and at all price points. Dave Nicolai, who lives in El Cerrito, feels the mayor's plan isn't the right approach. It's just going to be pack them in and see how much we can fit, and this type of stuff belongs on transit corridors. When it came down to it, several commissioners voiced reservations about SB 10, including Chairman Bill Hoffman. I think SB 10 is fatally flawed. I, I, I just don't think that was a good piece of legislation. After nearly five hours, the commissioners ultimately decided they needed more time options, so they voted to take this up again on August 3rd. In San Diego, Brian White, CBS 8. Thanks, Brian.